Guys, I went shopping on Amazon, got some cheap 2.2 aluminum bead locks right here. These are kind of narrow, so I got those for these 2.2 tires right here. Now these are 4.75 specs. These are by Injora, and they're almost like the Nitto Mud Grapplers. So anyway, we're gonna take a look at the tires, take a look at the wheels, get them mounted, and put them on Optimus 3. Take a look. First up, the wheels. This is how they come right out of the package, so you do got some bolts to put in. Yes, bolts go into all of those holes right there in the bag. Now the back is only held together with four bolts. So that's actually pretty darn cool right there, nice and easy. So hopefully these tires will mount right up. And here we are, just like the mud grapplers. Now, here's one of the things about these cheap tires. Um, I know they'll, they'll work, but the rubber compound, and I've had these with the uh, All Stars, which I believe is the same exact compound, just another rebrand. But now when I put these on the wood test, they chewed up real bad. So they really don't last that long. But anyways, they were like uh, $24 shipped or something like that. So they're dirt cheap, standard uh, single foam. So yeah, hopefully they'll work out. I mean, they don't even have any branding or lettering or anything. But by the specs on Amazon, they are 4.75, and they fit the 2.2 wheel. When they're mounted up, I gotta say, they look pretty darn good. I mean, really, they really look good. I've been after a good quality 4.75 tire to built for a 2.2 wheel. I know we can stretch them and make them work, but I like to see some tires that are designed for a 2.2 wheel just because I like the side profile of them and I think they can offer a bit more than the 1.9, but that's just me talking. Anyways, we're gonna try these things out, get that one mounted. As I'm putting these together, see that little uh, machined in indention right there? Well, this is actually set up and it goes right into place. So it's actually almost keyed in, which is pretty darn neat actually. As far as the drive goes, I'm just simply going to drive like normal, see how they do. I'm not going to try to chew them up, just simply going to drive like normal. Now, one thing's for sure, I can already tell you, yes, it is another wet day out here. They are too stiff. And just by feeling the tires, it felt like maybe it was just some packaging oil or something, but they didn't feel all that grippy. And then again, that could be just be from the packaging, but they are not conforming very well at all. Optimus here weighs in at about six and a half pounds. Right, the crossover, Mr. Giggles. Not bad. And they're doing all right. Now they did add some weight, uh, not weight, some width over the uh, Team Garage Hack wheels. So, you know, you add a little width to it, it can change a lot of things. So with it being wider than what it has been, let's see if the extra width ooh, set right down into the pipe we didn't. There we go. The extra width may actually be a good thing on the Nasty. Now the, now the last time I put Optimus across the Nasty, it walked it like it wasn't even there. Um, the extra width may not work out. I'm not exactly sure that these tires are gonna grip. These things are way too stiff for Optimus. Need to be on a bit heavier truck if you're gonna use a stock foam, which Let's see if we can get this to come on over. 
down and through right here at the crack of doom. Oh wow. Wow, these tires are just sliding. They're not gripping anything. I'm not completely off the course here. Yeah, this compound, I don't know if it gets better or not, but. It does not seem like it wants to work very well for me here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Not going to work out for me. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can do something with ridge line here. So far, I am really not impressed with these tires. I know they're too hard for this truck, but... Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. There we go. Oh, I don't really have a choice but to drive like that. And yes, I need to clean off the course, but it's just been so much rain and it's actually starting to rain again. So the storms come through and just things get blowed over so bad out here. Oh, man. Yeah, these need a much heavier vehicle, I believe, to really hook up. They look beautiful, but they are not really doing what I had hoped they would. But in all honesty, I think they look really, really good on the TRX-6, a whole set of six of these things. Whew, my flip-flops done and got wet. <laughs> wow. Maybe they'll break in. Don't know. And I put them on pretty much my best truck, so hoping for the best here. We're gonna give it a shot on twin ridges. Wow, to give it a bang. Yeah, these are, uh, wow. I don't know whether to say they're good, bad, or just not right for the truck. Try something, some stuff over here. Oh, man. Had my hopes up. My hopes are diminishing. You know, sometimes you find a deal and sometimes you just don't. Wow. I think what I may do is just pair these up with something else and maybe put them on the TRX 6. Wow, I'm. I'm not actually on any axles or anything here. Come on, wow. Guys, I was hoping to show you guys a good deal on a set of tires, but it doesn't appear that's the case with these things. Oh my goodness. Now that was my fault 
there, but... Come on, now. There we go. Got it that time. Are they breaking in? Maybe, maybe they're breaking in and starting to get some traction now, maybe? I had to spin them to get the coating off. That's gonna be the case. I could try to find somewhere and just kind of spin them a little bit. I don't want to do undo wear on them to kind of, you know, taint the test. Like, you are so abusive to them, no wonder they wear out, you know? You guys are just gonna have to, have to come to your own conclusions. <laughs> Do you guys have any of these tires on your trucks? Do they work out well for you or? I don't know if I'm gonna. Wow. You know what, one more time. Let's go ahead and jump on the nasty real quick. Let's just give it a one shot run here. My old squeaky flippers. See if they got any better at all. No, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, that was a little bit better. Okay, that got a little better right there. Still just don't have any real grip though. Let's see if I can get across this. Same exact thing I had before. Ow. Wow. Uh. leave it at that well guys uh i really want to tell you how awesome these tires are how well they done they hooked up and done all that but i just can't uh they just really were not impressive at all now um perhaps optimus wasn't heavy enough to make them work maybe maybe i just need a heavier vehicle now, I did have, I do have on order another set of these tires. I ordered them, I guess about three weeks ago and found out they were coming from China. So I'm still waiting on those. When those four come in, I may just go ahead and order two more of these or another set of these wheels. Um, because I kind of want these on the TRX-6. Maybe the TRX-6 is heavy enough to make these work. I could do it with just a four, but then how do I position them to where we can see how they actually perform? But anyway, guys, uh, the wheels actually worked out really nice. I uh, will put links to the tires and the wheels in the description. If you have these tires on your vehicle, comment down below. Let me know how they're working for you. Let me know if you had to do anything to them to make them work. Did you have to soak them in WD-40? Did you have to light them on fire with kerosene? I mean, I, I, I don't know. But uh, comment down below if you have these tires and how they're working out for you. I'd really appreciate it because I want these to work. I really do. So guys, as you can see, I've already got the Jake Concepts uh, landmines back on Optimus 3. That was a quick decision. I mean, wow, yeah. Much, much better time. Way, way better. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you've seen maybe something you might want, maybe something you might not want. Anyway, guys, hopefully hopefully you liked the video. Check that description for affiliate links, eBay, Amazon, Amain, Red Cat. Um, they're all down below. Use those links to, to support the channel. Just simply uh, use the link. Check out with whatever's in your cart, and everything is good. Everything counts. So, guys, Hopefully you liked the video, check that description, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. 
If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.